Hello, this is Doris here. If this is your first time seeing this beautiful face, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber and OG, hi, welcome back. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel now and join this lovely family. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post new videos. Today, I'll be sharing with you guys on seven things I wish I knew before my early 20s. Yeah, these things are things I wish someone told me like I'm about to tell you now. So, you don't make some of the mistakes I made and it will actually help you in your journey as a young person in life. So, if that sounds interesting, keep on watching. Okay, my first point is not confronting people when they offend you or when they treat you in an ill manner um what i want to tell you is that you have every right to tell someone when they um overstep their boundaries one thing you should know is that you tell people how they treat you so when you're being treated in an ill manner you have every right to walk up to the person and tell the person that you don't like how you're treated don't you know, one of the things is that sometimes we feel um, if we should say, uh, speak up, it, it might end up tarnishing our relationship with the person. Mm. I want you to know that if you're speaking up for yourself, tarnishes the relationship. The relationship is not even meant to be in the first place because that relationship is kind of, um, um, we like call it a parasitic relationship. The person is trying to, is trying to, you know, uh, I don't know how to call it, but what I'm trying to say is that person doesn't consider your feeling in the relationship person doesn't care about what you think or what your opinion is in that relationship and such kind of relationship should not even exist because you are a human being you have your opinions you have um, what you stand for so if the person feels that um, yours doesn't you know matter then the both of you are not supposed to be in anything at all my next point is uh, the next advice I'll give to my younger self is giving out things when they are not convenient for you this is one of the mistakes i made while i was in my early 20s is not the ability not to say no when people ask me for things even when they are not especially when they are not convenient for me um i could remember some time i one one scenario i was trying to someone asked me for something and actually Giving out that thing is not in any way uh, convenient for me. And um, in my mind, I made up my mind to say no. But when the person came to me, I didn't know when I said yes. And it's just something that you have to deliberate work on, okay? You don't have to always say yes. Sometimes say no. Giving out things when they are not conv convenient for you, or most of the times, leaves you in regret. If I'm making sense, but well, that's the feel I always get whenever I do things out of my, you know, out of my will. I just I'm being left with regrets and feeling why why did I do this? Now look at it, you know, the consequences of what I you know gave out. Okay, and even the Bible says that um, God blesses a cheerful giver. The only time you get blessed out of giving is when it is coming from a cheerful heart. So if you're giving out things and you're not cheerfully giving giving them out and um, uh, um, don't get me wrong if you're trying to give something even in your inconvenience and you're giving it cheerfully it is fine but if it's not from your you know you're not at peace giving it out then it's not something you should do at all <laughs> my third point is trusting people making excuses for them ignoring the smooth and mirror because you want to be with them I want you to know that um, you wanting to be with someone should be a mutual thing. If you want to be with someone, the person should also want to be with you. Okay? Most of the times we make excuses, we see red flags and we don't want, we just shut our eyes to them because we want to be with these people and we end up hurting ourselves because definitely such kind of relationship leaves you hurt. It's just the truth. Most of those relationships where you just, you know, trust people, and ignore the red flags, you know, you're just making all manner of excuses for these people. The same people you don't want to leave because you're shutting your eyes to all those red flags. 
will leave you in it and you will be the one who will be hurt. So, whenever you just make sure you're paying attention to details while you're. But, you know, when I'm talking about relationship, I'm not just talking about a man to woman relationship, I'm talking to, about relationship in general. Point number four is not being stubborn at my decisions, especially the ones that would better my life. Because I'm scared of my parents, and, or I'm scared of what people will say about me. <laughs> Guys, this is one of the mistakes I made in my early 20s is trying to get validation from people or um, from even and I'm just not I, I tried to do some certain things but one of the things that stopped me was because I didn't I wasn't sure of how my parents would react at that decision of mine and even my extended family I was scared oh they would say you know yeah <laughs> god and that thing is actually it limited me in life on some certain things because I was trying to I was trying to let me say I was trying to please my parents I was trying to please you know extended family even friends or people around or what would they say what would they say about um, this person's daughter is into this is into that because I don't want to hear all of that I just you know kept myself and I didn't venture into things, I didn't venture into things that would have made me a better person because I was scared of what people would say, what my parents would say. Girl or guy listening to this, if, you, if you've made up your mind to do something and you've checked within yourself that that thing you're about to venture with, in is something that will benefit you in life presently and even in the future, you just have to be stubborn at your decisions. You just have to learn to be stubborn at a decision. One thing I've come to realize in this life is some of the, some of my peers, let me see, yeah, some of my peers that actually stubbornly got into that thing that I wanted to venture into without minding oh, what would their parents say, what would their aunts say. They're actually doing very well in that same thing. And those same parents you're scared of, they will let her come around and celebrate you. If you get what my, what my point is, I'm trying to say that you're trying to you're not you're scared you don't want to do things you don't want to, you know push yourself into doing things that you know you've made up your mind doing and the, these things are not things that are wrong okay my dear friend just do them because the same parents you're scared of oh what would they say what would people say this person's daughter is into this tomorrow if you if you start you know if you, if you become successful in that thing they will be the ones that will still celebrate you they will celebrate you. My fifth point is <laughs> keeping one-sided kind of friends. <laughs> yes, this is one of the things that I would even tell my children not to. In this life, you need a certain person. And if you're one-sided or you make friends with people that are just filling up one side of your life, the other part might suffer because you can tell me that friends has influence on us and if you're keeping friends that just influence just a particular portion of your life you wouldn't be able to harness that part of your life or you wouldn't get all the push to harness that other part of your life and this is one of the things i know i made one of the mistakes i made while in my early 20s was to keep a one-sided friend or one-sided kind of friend people that will just lead you to pray but they will not lead you to study People that will lead you to study, they will not lead you to pray. People that don't socialize and uh, they are just the bookworms, the bookworm. Like God, you have to bring in balance, and this balance you need. You actually need people that has that kind of you know thing that you want to balance your life with. I don't know if you're getting my point, but what I'm trying to say is, make sure you when you're picking your friends. Pick every ramification of your life that you want to affect. Pick them in a friend. I'm telling you the truth. Pick them in a friend because these people have influence. Big time. Friends have influence. So if you pick um, each of your friends according to the part of your life you want to build, my friend, you go for in life. Trust me. You do, you do well in life. My sixth point is stop comparing yourself with other people. I feel like she, I should say this again. 
Stop comparing yourself with other people. We all have a timeline, okay? Their time is not the same as your own time. So do not compare yourself with them. Everybody has what they want to achieve in life. And you also have what you want to achieve in life. So why are you comparing yourself with someone who has a different thing he or she wants to achieve in life? Stop comparing yourself with other people. You are the best, okay? You are the best. Again, I'll say it to you. You are the best of your kind. What you should do is find inspiration from what others are doing and use it as a tool to improve your life. That is the best way to go about it. Not sitting down there comparing your life with that of others. Now, <laughs> My last point, which is the seventh point, is find a way to just have a tough part. <laughs> yes, find a way to have a tough part of you. Especially, I'm talking to those very emotional human beings. <laughs> out there i know this sounds like i don't know but it's just the truth i'm coming here like a big sis to you to talk to you to tell you my own experiences find a way to be a little bit tough because if you're not even tough let me tell you life will make you tough and when life makes you tough you almost want to become a beast <laughs> you will become something you never dreamt of or you never envisage of yourself so find a way to be a little bit tough just what i mean is just go a little bit of thick skin i know the disappointment and i know the the pain being an emotional being has cost me and after all those experiences girl has to be a little bit tough <laughs> you cannot be you cannot be doing me like that like you know you know what it means to one thing you should know is by the time you fall into a particular pattern of um, mistake two three times you got to buckle up that is life and that is what it is okay find a way to be a little bit tough life is not is not for the emotional people and i have to say it yes life is not for emotional people life is not for emotional people <laughs> at all life is not for emotional people you have to just be a little bit you know thick skin a little bit of a hard knot okay yes being emotional has not helped anybody being emotional has ruined so many people yes i will say it, it has not helped anybody and it has ruined so many people <laughs> thank you very much for sticking to this video to this point i hope you enjoyed this video please like this video like this video yes you have to like this video because it helps my video yes it helps it being recommended like this video share this video comment tell us your own opinion on the things you wish you knew in your 20s and i would love to hear from you see ya bye